Good morning. Here's my latest. I made another mini, like making these just with scraps that I have left over. So this one I've taken from the cover from the book of, I think it's German castles. It's just really cool. So I've just taken one of the pages and turned it into the cover. There's one half of it and there's the other half. A label from my book of labels I found at a garage sale, estate sale, something. And then eyelet lace on the spine. It's so pretty. And this pretty lace that I found in my stash for the closure. <coughs> and let's go inside. Okay. A tuck spot here that's from the heart journal card. Maybe I'll call it that. We'll call it from the heart. That'll be the name of the journal. A journal card there with an over the top tuck spot. A little collage here and a tattered, torn journal card. One of those interesting playing cards. Ready to eat foods, extra fine prepared salads and seafoods. <laughs> I like that. Kind of funny. <clears throat> Paper clip holding in the journaling spot. The labels that I've created. Stamped, fussy cut out, that sort of thing. Up over the page. I guess it doesn't really need to. You could probably just paperclip it in. But you have urges sometimes. Let's just do it a different way. Oh, it's kind of tight. I'm hit and miss on the whole paperclip thing. Because sometimes it seems to, I don't know, not like paper so well. <laughs> um, a booklet here, Hope is Believing in a Brighter Tomorrow. And one of my vintage uh, scrapbook postcard things. I'm not even sure what they're called. I found them in a vintage. 1950s, I do believe it was, scrapbook. <clears throat> I'm still in frame. Wonder of wonders. <laughs> tea dyed paper there. Another booklet stamping. And another of the vintage postcards. It does have I have one. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of tired this morning. I didn't sleep very well. I hate it when that happens. And then you're all giddy and weird the next day until you just kill over because you're so tired. Yeah, that's me today. Another lovely journal spot. Some vintage paper there. This one, this one. Yeah, put two pages together. That's crazy. Okay. Another cluster journal card. This is definitely a grab and go journal. Those dastardly mushrooms, I keep finding them. Um, some stamped leaves, punched flowers, and on a die cut so it goes up over the page. And then you've got Tim Holtz wildflower stamp, punches made from book page, and flowers. A post-it type flower on the file folder insert, and then I found that I had quite a few of those, all different, well four at least, and so I made journal cards out of them, one each, stamped flowers on a couple, Oh, those were cool journal spots. And then some washi stickers and a stamp sticker. Another washi sticker on this quarter doily tuck with a journal card. And, <clears throat> excuse me, this is a Rolodex that I got from Inky Owl Studios. So I put a um, uh, book page on it and then the butterfly washi, washi tissue paper, something like that over the top. I'm 
brown paper. Ledger paper. Pretty little deer that I stamped. And a journal card. This top piece is Tsunami Rose. I read it on a leaf flip. A couple of tags. A fussy cut. I do believe this is Mary Lou. And a tag underneath. Fussy cut, also Mary Lou, I do believe. Another flip. A tag, and then this tag. A stamped corner tag with a journal card. Storyteller. I had scraps left over, so why not add them to a page. Quarter doily tuck with a washi sticker. Journaling card. And another Rolodex. Discover friendship. Yeah, and butterfly. And then there's the back. And that is my little mini, which I said I was going to call it something. Yes, from the heart. We'll call this from the heart. I hope you like it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.